Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. In this video, we're going to see how we can troubleshoot in the communication or the problems that we have between the Modicon M2, 1 and the bus coupler. So let's go to the presentation. So in the previous video, we see how we saw how we can make the communication work in using the machine expert basic to configure the bus coupler and how the m one can send the configuration into the bus coupler. So now we're going to see how we can sort out the problems that we have uh, or we can have in the communication. So the first thing that we need to check over here, as you can see, okay, if you're using the model of TCP, we need to check if first the, M, the bus coupler is configured as model of TCP or Ethernet IP. So that's something that we need to check. On the PLC side, okay, if we start with the PLC, we need to check if the IO scanner is working. We already, I have already made some videos how to check the IO scanner communication. So um, here are the two parameters over here, okay, that we need to check the status. And this one is to reset. So you can read the actual status of the IO scanner, if it's working or not. And then with this one, you can reset it, okay? The other thing that we need to check now is that the PLC, okay, and the bus coupler is in the same network, otherwise they are not going to talk. Then what we need to check if we don't have the communication between them, uh, the ping is not responding, okay, you can try with a different cable, probably this one is damaged, okay. Then if you are not able to read any inputs and outputs of the controller of this bus coupler, you can use the LEDs in front of the bus coupler to identify what the problem is. So, based on this, okay, if you have a real problem on one of the models, what we can do is to go to the web interface, okay, let me just open one web interface, let me just open one, dun, 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 I have over here, okay, so the AP address of this one is B this, as I am connected, okay, as you can see over here, okay, connected with the um, um, with the bus coupler, okay. I'm going to use administrator, administrator one, okay, to connect. <laughs> Just to show you the different ways to troubleshoot them. Just wait for this to finish. So you can go to monitoring. Here you can detect the device. Okay. And here you can see if there is a problem or you are not able to see something. So the web interface is good for this. Okay. But if you have a PLC, as we have now the Antutu one, we can also receive information from the device to see if we have a problem or the model. So instead of you can always use the web interface, but you can also read information and the to one and then proceed with an action. Okay, that's the idea. So I'm going to close this part. Okay, I'm going to deal with this. So on the bus coupler, we have some specific areas, okay, that we can have for the diagnostic. Okay, you have the diagnostic zone, and then here the IO scanner zone. On the PLC on the PLC M221, we are focused on this part, okay, because it's where the reading um, of the inputs and the writing of the outputs is located, okay. But in this case, what we're going to do is to focus on this part, which is the reading. And you can see on the IO scanner, on the previous project that we have done, this one, you can see that the by default we are reading into there, so we are reading the length of two and length three on this one. You can see here the status. So this is the information that by default, the PLC is reading when you add a bus cover in the configuration. So this is good. So this information is really available for us to use. So if we continue over here to the presentation, okay, you can find more information. So the PLC is reading this information. Here, the bus cover diagnostic. Okay, you have the register. You can 
identified by each bit okay to see what's going on the same can be applied from the status of the t entries that you are locating okay each bit represents one of the models okay and depending on the value it means the the problem so for each model you have two bits okay that depend on the value okay is give us um if the if you have any problem or not okay so we can continue with this part da, da, da. And then you also have in this one this system state okay state of the system and you also give us more information to see what's going on so the information i told you before if you go to the channels you can see these two parameters that it's reading now if you go over here in the network objects you can see that you have the input register and the output register this is the information that is available for us to use in our software okay and if you go to the application that i showed you before just over here we just close this part programming here in the inputs and outputs you can see this information okay that is available for us to use so if we create an animation table animation table percentage iwa and 300 zero dot uh, let me see zero dot zero two this one we have the one okay half three how this da, 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 da. let's see if there is something else no this three so this is the configuration that we saw so if we go back to the presentation here you're reading this okay this one is the status so if we check right now what's going on here this one is number five so number five means that this one okay tn3 bus is controlled by more than tcp io scanner okay so this is valid and let's see here when the model is not okay okay what we can do just check uh i should remove um, this one okay but probably need to power up and power on again okay let me just go back here to the communication part okay let me just try to remove it it's not going to be the safest way because it's everything connected Let's see if i can move it i need to pour it off uh we just remove the power supply for this for the bus coupler should we be able to see now that we're going to lose the communication with the device okay i just remove it's not connected anymore okay control disconnected okay disconnected because i'm using the ethernet and the ethernet is from the other side so i need to connect via usb again just to see the behavior so now i don't have any communication and as i mentioned before what we need to do is to check this this one which is the io scanner so if we go to the project percentage sw212 the status is three partially and this one is 112 so we can reset the io scanner and see what's going on it's resetting the device mm -hmm. Let's see if i have the communication there we go so here you can see that we have more information now okay because this one is disconnected so as you can see over here uh, da, 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 da. it's probably going to take more time now so 
these two okay yoga and the software uh, let's analyze this one because this one i need to read it in binary and check it's going to take more time hexadecimal no binary here okay so this should be 16 15 14 14 13 let's see where it does start uh here are your bus not configure bus configuration error okay this one over here is in one error detected okay and this one over here you can find the model what's going on over here two bit per model so something's going on here you should be able to see it so if we go back to the software should be able to identify over here what's going on okay so this one the first one is not connected okay that's why you have the problem so let's see what happened now if i connect it again probably it's not the best to do it like this but let's see okay now it's connected Resetting. Okay, let's reset the communication here. Storage and to show sure come back alive. <laughs> there we go. See now there is no errors, no issues at all. Okay, so this is how you can identify if there is a problem with the bus camper or not. Okay, so another way to do this, okay, as I can be shown here in the presentation, is by doing this. So you can identify for each uh, two bits that you have. If they are all in zero, then it means that the model is okay, which is what I have shown you just a few seconds ago so this is how you can troubleshooting the the communication between the m to one and the bus copper so everything comes in the in the default configuration that you have in the m to one when the, you are the io scanner for the bus coupler and the same can be applied if you want when you use such an AI device you just need to read those uh words from the bus copper and read it from your for your system just to troubleshoot so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one